Look at that, two for 150. I am starving. And in this state of mind, it always shifts the decision-making process from the cold, rational things to do with what you need to the hot, impulsive urges to get what you want. And right now, I want these. Shall I show you the brain area yeah, yeah, involved? Yeah, yeah, right. let's have a look. So, a simple bit of exercise, just walking, increases the number of brain cells in your hippocampus, oh. and it's your hippocampus that creates uh, memory. Which means seahorse in Greek. Uh, in cross-section, it looks just like a seahorse, so that's why it's called the hippocampus. Um, so this part of the brain is right at the front, prefrontal cortex. That does problem solving, things like deciding what to have for lunch. We don't need that to talk about memory so much. This bit at the back is the cerebellum. Uh, that does balance and coordination. When you're drunk, it's the alcohol clogs this up. That's why you slur your speech, you stumble around. The nice thing about salsa is that you're in really close proximity to your partner. And when skin is pressed against another person's skin, automatically the brain releases a cascade of a chemical called oxytocin, which makes people feel comfortable in the arms of the other person. So, out of 20 people we've asked, 18 of them went for immediate gratification and took a butty straight away. Would you consider yourself a superstitious person? Uh, from time to time with certain things. Go on, uh, what kind of things? I wouldn't break any mirrors and I wouldn't walk into ladders. What if I were to, say, offer you some money? Could I possibly, potentially oh. convince you to break a mirror for money? Yeah, yeah. yeah? No, I'd be easily persuaded. I'm not that superstitious. Okay. Be... Contagious laughter is a powerful social glue. Its tension-relieving effects help to break the ice amongst a larger and larger group of people as the laughter spreads from person to person. Yes, today's show is a scientific pick-and-mix of imagination, invention, and a robot that can make the tea. Well, nearly. But first to a multi-million euro underwater research lab that's about to change the way the world sees and understands the ocean. People who've had an injury to their spinal cord which has interrupted the flow of information. There's a fault on the line. So it's not going to help everyone, but for people that have had traumatic spinal injuries, damage to their back which is interrupting the flow of information to and from the legs, there's a lot of hope. So what we're going to do now is we'll start off by asking a small favour. See if people are willing to wear this badge. If they agree to that, I'll then ask them for a slightly bigger favour. Will they wear the cap? And then, if they agree to that, I'll see if I can get them to dress up in this rather lovely and ridiculous tree outfit and say something to camera for our website. Let's see what happens. If you need sustained attention to crack a difficult problem or perform some calculations, get the hell out of the open plan office and do it somewhere quiet. Simple. I give off pheromones right now to the room. You subconsciously receive information about my sexual readiness, my sexual availability. Wow. It sounds strange, <laughs> but we're all doing it to each other every day. I think the critical fact was he kept working, mm. and that gave him a sense of purpose in life that meant the money didn't end up ruling him, he ruled his money. This is largely due to the way our brains are wired up and how they respond to pleasure and reward. Brain scanning studies have demonstrated that just being given money is far less satisfying than having to earn it. So after three, one, two, three. 